Hey, I'm David Yuri. I played Spooge on Breaking Bad. Uh, I'm just going to go through your questions, read them out, and answer them one by one. How did you get involved in the show? Um, I just got called in to audition for the role, uh, but when I went in, I wasn't given the script for that episode because I guess they're very private about, uh, about the episode, so they gave me an old script from season one with Skinny Pete's lines. Uh, so I played Skinny Pete in the audition. Uh, it was on tape. I went to one audition and got the role, and that was it. Number two, you are best known on the show for the ATM scene. Would you care to tell us something about it? Uh, that was a pretty grueling scene to film. Um, when I came out and saw what they had in store for me, it was a little bit unnerving because I had to lie under this ATM that was held up by a pulley system, by some ropes. And then, you know, when it falls on me, they actually let something go and it... it falls but there it's got sandbags under it so it stopped by the sandbags but I was under there and it was kind of scary uh, but much scarier was what the stunt guy who played my double had to go through because it actually fell and he had to lower his head under a hole in the floorboards that was cut out for him so it would fall and he had to go like that so what I did was nothing compared to what that stunt guy did but um it was, it was interesting because I was nervous about that. I also had to hold a live drill and shove it in uh, Dale Dickey, who played my wife's face. So there's a lot going on in that scene, um, which made it kind of challenging. Uh, but overall, the whole just shooting that show was one of my uh, best experiences so far as an actor. Really enjoyed working on that show. Uh, number three, you appeared in one episode of Malcolm in the Middle with Brian Cranston. What was it like working? Uh, let's see here. What was it like working together again after seven years? Um, well, in Malcolm in the Middle, I didn't have scenes with Brian Cranston, and I also didn't have scenes with him in Breaking Bad. So uh, I didn't really work with him. However, at the table read for Malcolm in the Middle, which was my first TV show job. Uh, before they shoot the show, everybody gathers and reads through the script. I only had one wor one syllable on that show. I say, I, and that was it. Uh, so it was a very tiny role. And um, Brian Cranston came up to me at the table read and introduced himself and shook my hand and thanked me for being there. And... Uh, I always remembered that, that he was a very classy guy. Uh, I did not get to see him at all on the, the set of Breaking Bad just because uh, all my scenes were shot with uh, Jesse, and so he wasn't on set on those days. Uh, number four, you recently guest starred in one episode of FX is Justified. What was it like working on that show? That was also a really great show to work on, um, and I had a really fun role on that. Um, I'll tell you what was most memorable about that was working with uh, Walter Goggins, who plays Boyd Crowder, because that guy is such a great actor, and he gives you so much uh, when you're working with him. Um, one thing that really stuck out was when they shot my coverage, my close-up, so the camera's not on him at all, it's just on me, um, right before we started rolling, he would talk to me in character, kind of threatening me to get me, uh, to help me get into the scene. Uh, so he was really present there, you know, to help make my coverage and make the show as good as it could be. And that was really, that was really cool. Uh, number five, I watched all your Surfing Monkey episodes on your YouTube channel, and I really like them. Would you care to tell us something about it? So the Surfing Monkey show is sort of a new project that I've been doing since, like, September of 2012. It's myself and my buddy Thomas Rounds, who's also a character actor. We actually met playing um, 
characters on the show Bones, the crime drama, and we worked the same days, and when we saw each other, we were like, hey, I know you, because we'd seen each other in auditions for years, playing the same kind of, you know, character actor roles. So we s started doing this show about the life of character actors in L.A., and it's a really fun show for us to do. We have guests on, like we had Skinny Pete from uh, Breaking Bad on. Maybe you can put a link or something here for people to see that. We also had Naomi Grossman, who's Pepper on American Horror Story Asylum. Um, and we're just uh, trying to crank them out about every other week. So I hope you guys will all check it out. You can just look up The Surfing Monkey Show. It's also on Blip TV, blip.tv slash The Surfing Monkey Show, or um, yeah, check it out on YouTube. Number six, is it difficult to do stand-up and work in the film industry? Well, I came to stand-up about a year ago. I started doing stand-up comedy. You can see my stand-up comedy on YouTube, too. Uh, just look up David Yuri stand-up. Um, I really enjoy stand-up, and I know when I talk to people a lot, uh, a lot of times people say that, you know, that just sounds so terrifying to them because uh, you're all alone up there, you know, and people are either going to cheer or jeer based on what you put out there. But having started as an actor and having done auditions for 11 years or so before I did stand-up, I kind of got all my nervousness out. Uh, you know, I mean, I still get nervous sometimes, but... My first few years as an actor, I would get very nervous in the audition room. And then, you know, after doing hundreds of auditions, you kind of get used to it, and that fear goes away. So then when I started doing stand-up, I just was never too nervous about, about the reaction or, you know, the audience. So it's really, I've really had a great time doing stand-up, and I, I want to keep doing it and do more and more and get better and... I uh, hope you guys will check out some of my stuff on YouTube. Number seven, what do you think lies ahead for you? Death. And that's it. All right.